sermon about your spiritual, physical, and financial health. Beginning the new year, we have had many members of our congregation attacked by the enemy with illness. We know that God allows these diseases to test us, but we have to read the word to see if we can prevent such problems. Yet we know that if, if it is God's will to test us, in some area, it is impossible to prevent it. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. But the Lord your God will you serve, and he shall bless thy bread and thy waters, and I shall take away any sickness from among you. God will bless your food and water by your praising and glorifying God and serving him in truth. He also promises to take illness away from us. God, it is, God is good. It is important to know that our, our being and health consists of three parts. First, there is the spiritual health, this has to do with your spiritual condition. If you are living in the spirit or in the flesh, if you are living in the spirit, you serve the Lord greatly with praises to God and fasting. Fast. If you are living in the flesh, then you pray a little, praise a little, and do not fast. You can combine your, you can combine prayer and praise and have more spiritual time for yourself. Also, reading the word of God is a spiritual exercise after you ask God to inspire you with the Holy Spirit. There are people who read the Bible as an ordinary book, and that also, that does not build up your spirit. We must pray before reading the Word of God and ask the Holy Spirit to inspire one to the message of the Word being read. This secondary, the secondary part of our being is the physical health. This has to do with your body and food. It is important to know that Jesus showed the importance of the body by living holy, uh, living a holy life and showing himself to be crucified on the cross. You have to sacrifice the flesh and its desires. It is also important to know that physical health has nothing to do with eating a lot, but eating healthy foods. Recently, the uh, doctors are supporting fasting frequently as a better health instrument. Many diseases are caused by the lack of food control of or eating too much. The third part of our being is financial health. If you spend your money on the lottery or other unnecessary things, you have poor or negative financial health. If you know how to handle your finances well, then you have a healthy financial health. Part of such, part of each Christian's financial health is giving a tithe and offering. God blesses the cheerful giver. The word of God has been fulfilled in my life. After many years of giving my tithe and offerings, I have my own apartments and my finances rose 100%. I am grateful to God for that and so much more. 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I wish you to be prosperous in all things and to be healthy just as your soul is in prosperity. This verse is a, is a prayer of faith for the total the well-being of another. The apostle 
shows here the importance of praying for the well-being of other brothers, of our brothers. The apostle sees that as he thrives spiritually, he should prosper in all areas of his life. Proverbs 17.22 The faithful heart produces good disposition, but the sad spirit dries the bones. We have to ask God to give us a happy heart and not allow us to have a decaying spirit. When the heart is cheerful and God is in the matter, then we want to serve our gods and we love the brothers of the congregation. But when we have a declining mood, the negative thoughts come in and we do not want to serve gods, our gods. And the love for the brothers is dis diminished. And then we do not want to go to church. That's why I ask us to give us a happy heart and full of love for the work of God. I also ask God to keep us from being discouraged. Let's always be motivated to serve God. Psalm 147, verse 3. He heals the broken hearts and binds his wounds. God heals us in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are wounded or wounded must say this verse frequently. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse lepers, resurrect the dead, cast out demons. From grace you received, give by grace. In, this, in the name of Jesus Christ, all these life-transforming actions can happen without changing or charging you anything. God has entrusted us and given the responsibility to heal the sick, resurrect the dead, heal incurable diseases, and expel demons. All this can be done by imposing, in, imposing, and putting on our hands in Jesus, in Jesus' name on the affected people. And we know it's Jesus who does the miracles. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God, and, are, and you aren't your own? We have to look at the meaning of the temple that God anointed Solomon to build it as a temple of the Holy Spirit, we have to give God the services that were also done in the temple that Solomon builds. You have to pray like the incense. The incense is prayer. You have to burn, you have to turn on the lamp, which is the light of the Holy Spirit, if you pray to him. You have to read the Bible, which symbolizes the Ark of the, of the, of the Pact. The covenants, the Ark of the Covenants, containing the two tablets of the Ten Commandments and a little bit of manna in memory of the 40 years that God gave to eat food from the sky, was also the rod of Aaron, that grassy, that grew after being dry. Also, the Ark represents the Holy of Holies, where the presence, where the presence of God dwells. In that same way, the presence of God can dwell in our body through the covenant I made with the blood of Christ. There are people who do not care for their bodies, and for that reason, they are not honoring God with their bodies. We have to try 
to live spiritually and physically healthy lifestyles for the honor of God and God that God lent us our body to do his will and not ours we can see that every time we do something of our own with will of our own will without consulting God it results in something negative Proverbs 16 24 honeycombs are the soft sayings smooth into the soul and medicine to the bones God's words are kind and for such reason sweets for the soul and heal healing of the spirit soul mind and body and we have to remember that the words of God are anointed with holy power that's why God's word gives the results in our life that it gives Proverbs 3 7 to 8 do not be wise in your own opinion fear the Lord's and get and get away from evil for it will be medicine to your navel and your bones will be nourished if we think we are wise we cannot see the faults of our person keeping ourselves humble helps in this the humble person always believes that he can learn something from the word of god but the haughty already believes that he knows everything and that and that is a lie every even excuse me even fearing god and fleeing evil would help us from great transgression proverbs 13 12 the hope that is prolonged is torment of the heart more a tree of life is the desire fulfilled we have to keep our hope in god for praying to him every day for our desires to be realized and our desires are holy the enemy is always looking for a way to make us fall and then thwart our lives we have to ask god to take care of our heart and soul completely. First Timothy 4 8. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Some people give a lot of time to exercise and give little or no time to spiritual exercise with the word of God and prayer. Today's life and eternal life have great dependence on what God thinks of us. If we communicate our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters to Him, we will come to eternal eternity in heaven for we have fulfilled the will of God in our lives. Thank you for listening and reading along with this video. If you did, I hope it's been a blessing to you. The Word of God is a blessing, whether you realize it or not. And subscribe, share, and like if you want to. God bless you and take care. This is Evangelist Jose Luna.